about including a warm up today, a cool down coming late tomorrow, and then eventually a chilly and dry weekend. We're almost at 80 degrees now in the New Orleans area. All of us north and south of Lake Pontchartrain in the upper 70s. And here are those clouds beginning to increase. Now, our satellite and radar imagery showing that moving from the south to the north, and our radar trying to paint in a couple of tiny showers south of our coast, likely not actually happening. But you can see the clouds increasing for sure. And then we have our front out to the north, West, and that's going to get a push into our area for the daytime hours tomorrow and really will feel the effects more so on Friday. Today we'll say highs around 80 or so. Our temperatures through the afternoon and evening, mainly in the 70s, eventually falling through the 70s into the 60s for our overnight lows with those increasing clouds through the day today and tonight. So starting tonight and through the overnight hours, you can see we might have a shower or two early tomorrow, but our rain for tomorrow doesn't look really substantial or significant. Now our model is showing some showers here in there, but again, I don't think it'll be anything more than a brief shower, uh, just kind of that nuisance sort of shower activity if you do run into that while you're driving or something like that. 5 p.m. tomorrow, we're in the 60s to about 70 degrees, and then we will start to see clearing skies as we move into tomorrow night and Friday, and that's good news for us because, of course, we have our partial lunar eclipse. So these are the kind of details for it. You're, we're moving from this position to this position through the night. So it will start at about 1.18 a.m. is when it really begins and you'll notice it into the 2 a.m. hour. The maximum, which is 97 percent, that reddish kind of look that happens just after 3 a.m. So I'm not sure if you're going to wake up early for this one or if you're just going to stay up late for this one. But at 3 a.m. is when it happens and then it will progress and it finally comes to an end uh, just before 5 a.m. So even if you get up early around 4 or 430, you might be able to catch the very, very end of it. And of course, this is what happens when we have uh, this kind of setup and for me it's hard to remember we have so many different types of eclipses solar lunar partial uh, penumbral sometimes and in this case this is what's happening the sun's light of course is on this side here we are in the earth uh, kind of casting the shadow over the moon this happens when all three are lined up and in this case, the moon is going to be mostly in the main shadow called the umbra. Sometimes it happens where it only passes through kind of the partial shadow. That's the penumbra. And in this case, it's 97% in the shadow. So that's why it's not a completely a total lunar eclipse, but pretty good. So it looks good. This is our forecast. Notice the clouds will be decreasing at the time that we're getting the eclipse. So I think we'll be able to see it at least if not, you know, the whole time, at least through some partly cloudy skies and our temperatures will be much chillier. So if you do make plans to see it, you'll want a coat or jacket and kind of bundle up. North Shore temperatures you can see will be in the 40s and south of the lake will be in the 50s, but likely feeling a little chillier because we'll also have a breeze. Let me show you with our model. This is early at midnight on Friday morning, Thursday night, Friday morning. Here we are and notice the clouds. There are some clouds. This is 3 a.m. the maximum and that happens again at 3.02 a.m. and there will be some cloud cover, but we'll say partly cloudy. So I think it'll be OK, hopefully. And then this takes us to five when we'll be looking for much clearer conditions and Friday turns chilly. Our temperatures starting off, as you can see, in the 40s to about 50, staying in the 60s for the afternoon with lots of sun and then we'll be gradually warming up into the weekend ahead of another front on Monday.